Hello everyone, my name is Tara Mistful and welcome back to another Star Stable video. I'm here in the winter Christmas village with my horse Shadow Mist and her little gourd pet. Um, and today we're going to be checking out the new Fawnsy horse, which is a magic horse. I think it's classed as a Yorvik Wild horse. I'm not 100% sure on that, but yes, we're going to be checking out the new horse. Um, and I'm super excited. Just a warning, there might be some birds chirping in the background of this video, but I gave them some fresh grass seeds um, to snack on, so hopefully that will keep them quiet. But just thought I'd mention that. Um, so I think the Fawnsy is back here. Oh, that lag spike. Um, can we just get in here? When I initially saw pictures of it, at first, I, I wasn't the biggest fan, but seeing more pictures now, I think it kind of looks interesting and where are the... Oh, here they are. So it's right here next to Brinacool. Um, we're just going to have a look. I'm filming this on Thursday, which is nice because it means we don't have a bunch of people gathering around. So this is meant to be like a cross between a fawn and an Andalusian. Oh, wow. It's actually quite cute. <laughs> Oh, I love its face. It's actually a really cute horse. I feel like all the Andal... What? Lag spike. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why I'm getting these weird lag spikes like that. Um, But all the Andalusians so far, they seem to have like this permanently angry face. But this one doesn't. It's really cute. Hello. So it really does look like a fawn. Um... I don't know, I actually like this horse more than I thought I would. So it has the little, um, kind of, I don't know what they're called, they're called cloven hoofs, or just split hoofs like a deer has. Um, I think it would have been really cool if, uh, the horse had antlers, but apparently Star Stable, um, would have issues with adding antlers to horses, which is a shame, because I was really hoping when I heard about a Fawnsy that we'd get a horse with antlers, but... Um, the colouring's kind of spot on. It really does look like a little deer. I'm not sure if I want to get it or not. It's it's very cute. It's I like it a lot more than I was expecting to. Um, let's read the information on it. So it's a fawn it's a magic horse, which are apparently different to Yorvik wild horses. I'm not really sure how. Okay, so um this is the same with all the magic horses. When riding through the wintry woods near Meander Village, ooh, Meander Village, I think that's up past Northlink, I think Star Stable said that, so is that going to be an area we get in the future? I hope so. Meander Village, because we've never heard of that. Um, the shy deer you glimpse hiding in the brush might not be a deer at all. It might be one of the most beloved of Jorvik's magical horses, Fawnsy. It'd be so cool if we had wild deer in Star Stable. I think that'd be so cool. Okay. This spotted wonder seldom leaves its woodland home, preferring the company of rabbits, skunks, and foxes to other equines. Oh my gosh, I really want a skunk pet now. Oh, that would be so cute. Skunk pets would be adorable. To better avoid forest preda uh, predators, Fawnsy has evolved to be almost completely odorless. Even resting, its heart beats twice as fast as a normal horse, which amplifies its skittish character. Aww. Once he prefers a diet of ferns, clover, shoots, and especially wild berries, but when kept in a stable, they adapt readily enough to hay. Solitary by nature, if Fawnsy must be in a stable, it would rather be in a box as far from other horses as possible, and definitely well away from any dogs. Okay, so this horse isn't a fan of dogs. Okay, I think it would probably get along with like a fox pet, um, or maybe a bunny. Like other magic horses in Jorvik, Fonsi shows its true colours in wild places and will conceal its appearance in populated areas, whether in its magical roebuckskin form. Roebuckskin. I mean, it kind of makes sense because buck skin, it's like a buck is a male deer. Is it? Or is a stag male deer? Or is it both? I have no idea. Um, 
or disguised to blend in with other horses, Fawncy rides just like the Andalusian it is descended from. So you, you can get this from level 1, it tolerates the cold which is cool, I guess because it's like a deer, um, and you can get it for 950 star coins. So, uh, pretty sure I read that these guys can also do the, um, Spanish walk which is cool. I really love its colouring, it's like a rich honey colour. It's quite cute, I'm kind of tempted to buy it, but I am going to see what it looks like in its um, kind of normal horse colours, uh, but it, it is it is very precious. Uh, so, oh here's someone riding it, how does it look with tack on? It's quite cute! I'm honestly very surprised by how much I like this horse, I really thought I wouldn't like it. I kind of saw it and thought, eh, it's... Meh. <laughs> um, but it's actually it's actually quite cute. Um, there's also a new quest um this week. Uh the new Cloud Mill Kid with Alex. It starts at Mullen Stables, and uh I believe you have to go around and it's kind of similar to the Halloween um quests where you uh collected the little gourds and you got rewards but this time it's with um little yule goats and yule goat families and i think there's some running pets that you can get i don't know if it's one or two in a picture star stable showed a dog and a cat um so hopefully it is two um i haven't seen what they are okay so the quest starts here with alex and tin can tin can is honestly my favorite of all the soul rider horses i mean how gorgeous is he i kind of wish we had a pony in this model and here's the new updated yule goats how cute is that they, their eyes are kind of weird but they do look um a lot cooler than the original yule goats okay guys so i finished the initial quest with these yule goats um and this is what the giant yule goat looks like uh and the little ones and there's basically these icy puddles that are opening all over the place there's another one over there where that light that beacon the beacons of light are and uh, it's just like the halloween ones so up here i can see the rewards and is it a cat or a dog it's a sleepy snow cat okay i was hoping there would also be a dog because it looked like there was a dog um but yeah it just seems like there's a cat that we can get maybe there'll be a dog like to buy oh i can actually see it hang on uh. oh oh it's cute it's so small compared to my little gourd um if i go like this oh no we can't still that's a cute little cat um okay so we can own that cat and then there's um some sort of outfit that we can get uh i mean it's not it doesn't really look that great to be honest but um yeah oh so there is a dog wait i'm so confused i'm so confused right now so okay so i think wait do you have to buy these no i think you automatically get these prizes as you go along or at least maybe this is just for Moreland. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's there's these prizes here, and then there's also these prizes here, and this is where the little dog is. Um, and then there's also a tack set, and then a bunch of these sweaters. Some of these look really interesting. Or you can get some horse experience. Um, okay, well I guess I might get some horse XP while I can. I think you can only get that. Oh, you can keep getting it as long as you want. Well, I'll get that because I need to train this horse. Okay, well, that's cool. So there is a dog. Um, hmm. So I think this is just a progression thing that you get these. I mean, that's, that's really interesting. And uh, there seem to be a lot more um, yogurt things around. So it seems like we're going to have a lot more to do. And you can also see the amount that you need to earn to get them, like, 50 that's a lot, but I think they're also more frequent, so it means that players like me who are very high level and don't really have a lot to do, we now have something to do to keep us occupied, so that's cool. Um, I do wish we were going to get a, I was hoping we would get a little Yule Goat running pet, like, 
if they had have made like mini Yule goats, like just small ones, because I mean like they don't have to be realistic size, I mean they're, they're made out of straw. If they had have made like really small little Yule goats, we could have had them as running pets and that would have been adorable. Um, but yeah, so that's the Yule goat thing. Um, that's really interesting that there's like two sets of prizes. And before I end this video, I'm just going to see if I can find, um, it's still so foggy here on my screen. I hope that will go away. Um, but I still want to see if I can find someone riding the new Fawncy horse with its uh, normal horse colours. Okay, so here's my friend Crystal, uh, and she's got the new Fawncy, and these are its town colours. It looks really cute in red. Um, I think she's taking the tack off right now. It looks really sweet. I and it's, its face is really nice. It doesn't look like it's kind of really angry like a lot of the others do. And it still has that little eye detail. Um, I think I might get it. I, I don't know. I'm very tempted to get it. I'm still not 100% sure if I want this horse. But it has a really nice colour. And it's, it is really cute. The only thing is that I don't like the Andalusian's rear. It's really weird because it like slides. The back legs kind of slide. But um... It's very cute and its mane isn't quite as white in its tan colours, it's like really white um, in its deer colours but not in its town colours. But this is a super, super cute horse. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, that was the Fawncy and the new Yule Goat quest which I'm really excited to continue doing. And I'm really keen to see kind of like what the pets are like and the other outfit that I couldn't actually view. But uh, yes, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of the Yule Goat quests and also the new Fawn Seahorse if you're going to get one or not. Um, but yeah, oh and next week the Tinkers, the new Tinkers are coming out next week and I'm so excited. So I will definitely be making a video for them. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!